Does Judaism have something to say about Neuralink, artificial intelligence, chips in the brain? I actually think it does because Judaism is so focused on the future. <laughs> we begin with the Garden of Eden, which is essentially a garden of all time, as I've explained in other videos, and where the world is heading to. It's heading back to Eden. And actually, there's always a debate about the Messianic era. Is it going to come naturally or is it miraculous? And the answer, of course, can be both. Rabbi Arya Kaplan, a 1970s physicist and rabbi, said technology is the answer. Because in technology, we can have miraculous outcomes through natural inputs. And the vision that Judaism has of the whole of humanity being able to choose whether to become one in a deep way or whether to become individualized and gone forever is something technology is about to offer us. Some people opt to live in these bubbles of computer games and, and artificial visions and live in a cupboard being intravenously fed and live in films their whole life. And others will join together. Upgrading the human is not the problem, as long as we're ready to live as one. And then maybe we can share thoughts together, share insights together, share minds together. The vision that first the entire world of Israel and eventually the whole of humanity becomes one is something that might be possible with an upgraded mind, soul, brain, oneness. Then we will be one and be able to connect to each other and connect together to God.